Hello everyone, Oliver here and today we have Embra from Zurich, Switzerland and we are going to discuss how she chose the emotions painting for her art collection. But before I'm getting ahead of myself, let's welcome Embra. Embra hello. Hello Embra. <laughs> Embra, can you introduce yourself quickly and your interest in art? Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Ambra. I'm Italian originally. I'm living now in Birmensdorf, close to Zurich. Uh, and I moved into a new apartment approximately two, three years ago. And uh, there's a lot of white walls in Switzerland. So I wanted to, you know, bring some light and color into my life and into my apartment. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, um, remember back in your life, when did you first got interested in art? Um, I think it's always been a passion of mine. I'm unfortunately not so good at art myself as a painter, mm -hmm. um, but I love going to museums. I love especially modern art because I think it's... Uh, it makes you reflect, it makes you see things from a different perspective. Uh, so I always love to uh, be surrounded by colors and emotions and inspiring pieces of art. Mm, cool, cool, amazing. And do you also have like, yeah, kinds of art styles that you prefer? Mm -hmm. Yes, so um, at the beginning, I was in love with Impressionism. I loved uh, Van Gogh, was my favorite painter for a long time. I've been trying to actually reproduce some of his paintings just for fun. Uh, enjoyed that a lot. Uh, and then I think my interest grew into more modern art, especially after I visited the Tate Museum in London. Mm. I think it's a fantastic display of modern art. I actually went back and saw different collections and uh, I just started to, um, yeah, to, to look at it as a reflection of our modern world, uh, just from different perspectives. So I enjoy that very much. And that's usually the type of collection that I visit more often <laughs> nowadays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with modern art, you also mean, is this specifically like abstract, abstract yeah. art? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool, cool. And um, yeah, I mean, yeah, you also chose an abstract art. So emotions is an abstract and modern painting. And, Correct. Yeah. So, and if you think back when we first, like, um, we when we met first, I mm -hmm. think that was... Um, I mean, we, we know each other for since, I think, two years now or something. Yeah. Yeah. And one, on one point, I invited you to an exhibition with Gareth, with your boyfriend. And, and so my question is, what, when you first saw this painting, Emotions, what sparked your interest in it? Yeah, I think even before uh, visiting your collection, I actually saw Emotions on Facebook, on your Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was this picture of an exhibition that you had in Zurich HB in the main station. Mm -hmm. And I remember seeing this big wide space and the painting was sort of like a small, right? In this big space, but still it was conveying so much energy, right? It was the focal point of the picture. And I was like so amazed by how much... Um, attention and energy was going through it. I, I believe it's a really powerful painting. And then when I saw it live uh, in your collection, I was really captured by it. And I could see even more complexity and even more details that, uh, that I don't know, still now, you know, when I look at it, I find more things that I haven't seen before in it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that depth and complexity was what really captured me. Mm, I see, I see, I see. Very good. Um, 
And what got you actually started in the first place looking for an original piece of art? Um, so my apartment is about uh, 80 square meters and uh, as you can see there's like stone walls and wood and a lot of natural uh, parts to it mm -hmm. which makes it very mellow in a way and I wanted to bring a spark of color in, in, in the apartment. I must say also there was a functional reason for it because mm -hmm. Um, I am an entrepreneur, I run, you know, a lot of online calls and webinars, and I also wanted to have um, just a better background, you know, something that I can show to people about me, which is not only myself, but also that defines me and sort of um, shows this energy to people on screen. So on top of being a beautiful piece of art just for me to enjoy in the apartment, it's also something that I use uh, often in my business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. Okay, cool. So other people can enjoy it as well. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, cool. And is, did you ever invest in art before or is this your first investment in an original piece of art? Um, we have invested in other pieces, mainly uh, sculpture or other objects that were always related to traveling. So we would mm. go to other countries and bring back a piece uh, of art from those countries mm -hmm. as a memory, but also as a way to, you know, uh, decorate our apartment with things that represent us in a really unique um and unrepeatable mm -hmm. and i feel like emotion was actually the first thing that we bought from switzerland from the place that we live and mm -hmm. we needed to have that as well like switzerland you know many apartments are look the same mm -hmm. so having something that is from here but it's unique and it's special I think it makes also our apartment special and it makes our life here special in a way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see, I see, very cool. And um, I think it's also the biggest piece you have so far, right? You, I, get, I don't yeah. think you got such a big piece for, from traveling. Correct, yeah. correct. From traveling, sometimes heavy pieces, but not that big. So, mm -hmm. uh, And I think this is the... It's the second painting that I buy in my life, but it's definitely the most significant investment that I have done. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you know, it's it's the type of painting, types of piece of type of piece of art that I want to carry with me in my life, and you know, it will definitely follow me wherever I go <laughs> in the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, amazing. And when did you see like art, like original art as an asset class or a store of wealth? Or is this even something you considered? Uh, it's definitely something that I always wanted to have. And it also marked a milestone in my life because I am now in a situation mm. where, you know, I can afford to be surrounded by art. I can afford to... Uh, to mm -hmm. introduce more beauty in my life. So it's it's definitely something that I want to continue doing. Obviously, like a painting is not like, it's not like food. It's not like having chairs and table and bed. It's something different. And it's something that, you know, it, it, it just makes you feel good. It's, you're switching from necessity to mm -hmm. pleasure and, you know, just enjoyment of the place that, you live in mm, yeah that's beautiful i i see that totally that's exactly it i mean most of the things we buy they are necessities right mm -hmm. and, and to buy something that is that represents something for you i mean you said it's a milestone so that's really that's really cool so what milestone if, if we explored it a bit more you you touched on it right you you started yeah. to your entrepreneurship and everything. So, but if you go a bit deeper, what was this milestone exactly that this painting represented for you? 
Hmm. I I believe it was actually um, it came into into my life at the same time as I started my business. Mm -hmm. So it was a way for me to celebrate mm. the this this happening right this event, but also it was a way to set intention and expectations for my business mm -hmm. because. You know, I didn't want people to perceive what we do just as a plain, normal, white background thing, right? Like, in a way, this represents where I want to go as well. So it was just the first stone into building that uh, the business that, that, you know, castle, which I see like becoming bigger and bigger in the future. Mm -hmm. So, so this painting has actually a connection with your entrepreneurship and your business. Yes, yes, nice, yes. Nice, nice, nice. And I think in a way it represents also my passion, right? And how much I am dedicated to this and how much I want to put all myself into it. And, you know, when I look at it, it gives me drive. It, mm -hmm. it makes me feel like, yes. This is what you're going for. You go for it. And it just, it gives me that energy, that passion. Amazing. So cool. So cool. And when you would put a word for it, let's say, yeah, how does it make you feel? What, what does it give you for feeling? You said a few things like drive, passion. Yeah. Is this that or is there something else like that it makes you feel like when you look at it? Yeah, I think it's... Uh, just strong and powerful, mm. strong and powerful, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you also said like you never basically afforded, I mean this was your biggest, um, how to say, your biggest investment, investment yes. exactly. And yes. how does this make you feel that you were able now to actually invest in an original piece of art? Yeah, great, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It makes me feel great and you know like I also feel like proud when I look at it because I'm like yeah you know I created uh, enough uh, wealth and uh, stability and 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 things in my life that uh, I can I can afford to to uh, introduce more beauty in my life so I definitely feel proud when I when I look at it because you know it was um, the fruit of a lot of work and um, um, it just, it, it, you know, it paid off so I can create things around me that are not just necessities, but in a way it's like a little bit of luxury or pleasure, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I totally understand and I think that's also important to like afford things that are more than necessities. So you also like, you feel like you're stepping into a, a new life, a more abundant life where you can afford beautiful things that you really, really enjoy. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, right now, every time that I look at the other white walls that I still have in my apartment, I'm like, yeah, I would love to have something there and something there. <laughs> so I'll probably call you back at some point, Oliver. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Great, amazing, yeah, cool. Um, like, if we now go a little bit back, how it was, you know, when we were in my exhibition, and it sounds like you were attracted quite fast to this piece, and yeah, so, so yeah, how, tell me, tell us a little bit more about the, how the process was for you, you know, seeing first the painting, then, then feeling is this is this painting right for me? Do I want it? And then the make until making the decision to actually really invest in it. So how was this process for you? Yeah, so I would say it was a little bit slow for me because it was the first time, right? So I kind of didn't really know how to pick. Mm -hmm. And then I think I saw it, I had an immediate attraction to it. And it's something that goes a little bit beyond the visual. Mm -hmm. I think you just, um, you just, uh, you just feel the connection, right? If you look at the painting and the painting 
triggers something in you it triggers you know thoughts and you start to imagine things and you start to feel things i think that is when you understand that that's 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 a painting for you right like mm -hmm. it, there is a connection in mm -hmm. a way mm -hmm. so uh, even though all of your paintings obviously were triggering something right like you start to imagine what it looks like it makes you feel strong or it makes you feel you know peaceful or it makes you feel in different ways each painting is unique i think for me this one was just like so powerful it just made me feel powerful and strong and uh, and yeah so i there was a connection and then i wasn't sure so i actually went back home and i thought about it and then i came to see it again and I just uh, felt there was that connection again, right? I was just so inspired by it and still feeling just so strong and good by just looking at it. So I think that's how I made my decision. Um, and uh, yeah, I think for the next time, I would probably know how to choose faster as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, you kind of have to let go of um what do you think about it so it's not so much about uh you know the straight line or a curved line or like the it's not so much about the visuals it's more about okay how do you feel when you look at it i think that it's going to be the way that i take this type of decisions also in the future mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. cool very good i love that so many people say i, I hear that all the time like I had a connection to the piece. So now I'm very curious, what does this, you, you, I mean, you, you described already like how it makes you feel, you know, powerful, strong, mm -hmm. it triggered things, but you also said they're, they're like, obviously all my paintings triggered something. So how, what, what, this, what does this connection mean to you? What, yeah, what does this mean for you specifically? Hmm. So, for me, I don't know, I just each painting has its own soul in a way. Mm -hmm. And probably that is the soul that you put into it when you paint it, right? And I just recognize myself in in some aspects of it. So it's a lot of I think it's emotions, right? Sometimes you can just look at some paintings and there's people that start to cry by looking at art. It, I think it happened to me a couple of times. And mm -hmm. there's like, you can start laughing by looking at a piece of art, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know what are the exact dynamics that go into it, but I think that connection is simply that there are emotions that the artist put into it. And when other human beings look at the painting, they tap into those emotions somehow mm, yeah so it's a natural process basically that happens i think so it's i can find it hard to describe it because it's very emotional right so it's hard to um rationalize it in a way right mm -hmm. um, but i think it's yeah there is a transfer of emotions between the artist and the painting and the receiver of the painting Mm -hmm. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, it's, it's funny because we're talking about emotions and I called the painting emotions. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was for me. For me, it was also difficult to describe this painting because, I mean, it, it was deep. And when I looked at it, I just like felt emotions. I couldn't even tell exactly what for emotions, but it was it was kind of it went deep. So like having the name emotions was for me, it's just perfect. Yes, yes. And, you know, because I feel it's a very complex painting, mm -hmm. you can see different things into it. So when I look at it, I always see a little bit different things. You can see, uh, you can look at it and, and feel sadness, or you can look at it and feel, uh, you know, energy and drive, or you can look at it and see also some softness or there's like it's very complex and I think there's many 
aspects to it. And this is also something that was very intriguing for me because I feel like it it defines you a lot, I feel, as, a, as an artist. Mm -hmm. I really feel like, I don't know, there was a lot of you into it. Mm -hmm. And there's also a lot of me into it, right? So I feel like ex, ex, like expanding when I when I look at it because there's so many tiny uh, little um, faces, you know, mm -hmm. inside of it, mm -hmm. and it allows me to explore my own little tiny faces and and aspects and perspectives. Mm, nice, nice. Yeah, I, I see that very similar. I mean, when I f look at it, I, I almost see like there, there is, um, yeah, there's a mix of different emotions and, and like shadow and light, power and the sadness. It, it's like, it's very interesting. And yeah, and what you just said, I think it's also very interesting. You said like, it, it's, you see, do you see me in it, like the artist, but you also see yourself. So and and so you felt connected to the painting because you saw yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's probably also yeah. you know when somebody tells a story, like let's say like a speaker tells a story about himself or herself, and and this this person is very vulnerable and goes deep into the story and and mostly when you most people can relate to the story and then suddenly they feel a connection to the speaker. And that's probably also how people can feel a connection through a painting. They can feel a connection to the artist, so to a person, because yeah. they see themselves in it. So it, it's very, very interesting. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think the funny thing is that, you know, everybody can see a different thing. Mm -hmm. I see something, maybe my husband sees something else. Mm -hmm. My friends, when they come over, they can see something else. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty, I think, of this painting. It's so rounded. There are so many things into it. Uh, it's very fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably is this yeah is this the reason why you like abstract art because it's so so you you can see different things and it's very yeah yeah it's not tangible. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. And yeah, I wanted to also ask you, you said like when people come, they see different things. Did you ever have people come over to see it? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. And I think their uh, first comment is they are just surprised about the fact that I have such a, you know, a unique and special piece of art in my home. It's not something that everybody has. So obviously mm. like, they are um, attracted to it. They are captured by it. They are like, oh, wow, you have a painting. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, everybody sees different things. Somebody sees also power and strength. Some other people feel like it's very deep, introspective. It's Some people think it's um, um, it makes you, you know, reflect a lot so there's like different things that people see into it mm -hmm. um so it's funny because it's also a topic of conversation when i have people over at my place mm -hmm. which i love um and uh and yeah and i think it just it contributes to make my apartment unique and myself unique in a way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. totally i get that yeah i love that amazing do you also, when people come over, do you talk about your milestone? Like we, we talked about that. Do you also have like stories that you tell and yeah? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. So it's all connected in a way, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yes, it's like, uh, it just, the painting came at the same time as I started this new journey. So when people come over, they see the transformation under different uh, lights, right? So there is the intellectual light of, you know, what you're doing with your business and all of that. And there is a more softer light, which is like, okay, you're also changing your environment, you're changing your lifestyle, 
right now you know you have now beautiful paintings around the house and so it's a it's a transformation on different levels right and and the painting is part of it mm, i see that it's actually super powerful when you think like that i mean it's uh, it's sometimes i can tell for myself i'm also changing a lot at the moment as you know and in the end of July, I planned something that is for me, will for me also be kind of a milestone. You know, it will be part of my transformation to really, really in, ingrain this transformation with something. You know, it's not just like happening and then you go back to a, your routine and you basically forgot about this special milestone in your life. But now you have, uh, you have something which reminds you all the time of this milestone. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So some people get a tattoo, some people get a painting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's so cool. I love that. I love that. And yeah, how do you feel now? So like, like after, after you invested in it and you first saw it, and yeah, how how do you feel now having it there? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, great. I think you know it's it's gonna be part of my life and my environment for a long time. And I'm thinking also of expanding the collection and um, have even more beauty around me. Mm -hmm. I think the, that you um, you know you have to feel when it's the right moment in a way um to to take that step and for me there is definitely a connection with you know with milestones with like maybe also realizations in your life right like um, the the painting can can represent that milestone and can remind you of that mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. right so you don't lose connection with certain achievements in your life or certain realizations mm -hmm. um that that you that you go through so um i think i definitely want to expand it the the collection and uh, fill up the the blank walls <laughs> because you know if your walls are blank that means also there is a part of you that is a bit blank you know what i mean yeah i get it totally so mm. as you grow in your life and you and you evolve I think you know art can be something that expresses that your evolution just as a human being and what mm. you're going through in your life. Yeah, I love that totally. I really that's amazing. <laughs> cool. Um like for everybody that is listening and also interested in art, can you tell a bit what yeah what is important for you if you select a piece of art? Well, the most important thing is that it speaks to me, and um, yeah, it 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 it's really that connection, finding that connection. And uh, uh, if you can, you know, look at art and see yourself into it, that there is a belonging, there is a connection. Mm -hmm. And um, another thing that I want to say is that that connection is going to continue after you buy the painting because it's not only when you see it oh yeah i like it i see myself i bring it home you continue going back there you continue looking at it and you continue developing that connection almost like it was with a human being sometimes <laughs> um so so yeah it has to speak to you and um it is it is really a feeling it is really a feeling mm. when it tells you something about yourself and it tells something about your story or it tells something about your personality um that's that's usually when you have that sparkle right and and that connection mm. yeah amazing cool and uh, did anything change since you invested in it and now you have it in your apartment yeah did anything change the way you felt about it or the way you saw it yeah 
Yeah, so well, first of all, I have uh, came up with an ingenious uh, a way <laughs> of hanging it. So actually zooked with a little hook. Mm -hmm. And because there is a lot of wood in my apartment, I can actually move it in different rooms and different spaces all the time. Mm -hmm. And that's fantastic because, for example, right now it's in it's in my living room. I use it a lot for calls. Um, I love to offer this type of background to my clients, for example, or, you know, people that I speak to online. Sometimes it's in, uh, in more in, in like another room, so it's more intimate, it's more private. Mm -hmm. So it has, it, it almost feels like the painting has his own life in the apartment. He travels around, experiences different things, <laughs> and also we experience different things, right? Because it's, it's, um, present with us in different situations and different moments so we can really uh, uh, enjoy it at the maximum right because we can have it everywhere whenever we want mm -hmm. yeah and i guess also the the light is changing when you move it around you the light is changing and yeah. probably it looks a bit different you see different things Correct. I don't know if they're visible, but they're like this side is very uh, sparkly, right? And depending whether the lights are on or off, whether there's natural light or not, you see different things. It it changes its, uh, its shape, really, <laughs> uh, based on the conditions, where it is, the lighting, like so many different factors. So... It almost looks like a little bit different every time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, the light really does a lot. And um, I'm also working with glitter. I don't know, I'm not 100% sure if this also has glitter. But yeah, it has? Here, 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 yes. Yeah. I can see it very clearly, but I don't know if on the camera it's possible to mm -hmm. see. So there is here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the cool thing with light. Sometimes you don't see glitter at all it's just like you just see the painting right you don't see glitter but then when the sun comes in suddenly it shines and uh, yeah it, yeah this is something i love <laughs> and it looks completely different because probably on the camera this this side right now looks very uh, deep blue yeah mm -hmm. but then when the light shines on it you actually see pure sparkle and that is one of those examples of how it changes right like when you see the deep blue you think about more depth Mm -hmm. you, maybe you think about more, you know, deeper emotions and then suddenly the light changes and you see sparkles mm -hmm. and completely different type of emotion, right? It's mm -hmm. joy, it's excitement, it's light and it's so amazing, you know, how it can change just uh, light on, light off from one second to another. Yeah, it's, it's really amazing because that's what I'm trying to express, right? I'm trying to express this depth and this, this yeah, emotions, but also this excitement, freedom, joy, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's really cool. It's really cool how this can switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. And uh, do you also have some favorite colors? Um, uh, yeah, I would say so. I think I love in general, lots of different colors. Mm -hmm. I like strong colors and the contrast. That's another factor that I actually loved in this painting. Mm -hmm. This contract between the red and the blue, right? Like so close and so like uh, strong against each other, but also together in a way. Because if you look at this uh, lower part, that's where the blue and the red are really mixing together. Mm -hmm. And here they're more like contrasting mm -hmm. each other. So mm -hmm. again, it like it shows you how different emotions can be conscious, but they can also come to to to, uh, to create something together, right? Mm -hmm. and, and that's so true also about emotions, right? Like if you think about anger, how you can turn anger into drive, or how you can turn sadness into uh, growth and uh, you know support and something beautiful so I think there's so much into this painting mm. right amazing amazing it's all, almost like I also what comes to my mind is al alchemy 
like it's yeah transforming and it looks like even in the painting it looks like down there it's like alchemy it's like trans something's transforming <laughs> yeah so cool. and it's like um uniting together no like making peace like the red and the blue are making peace with each other in a way <laughs> yeah the, the, the shadow and the light maybe like the contrast yeah yes yes cool cool amazing so to summarize everything that you just said so in the end yeah why did you decide to add an original Hoyas painting to your collection hmm. Um, just to surround myself with uh, beauty, with beauty and uh, to make my environment more mine and to make it reflect who I am and, you know, uh, yeah, my personality, my complexity. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, that's why. Mm -hmm. I love it. Really great. So would you also recommend art collectors, other art collectors, to invest in a piece of my portfolio? Yeah, definitely, of course. I mean, I think um, there are so many pieces in, all, in your collection that I also put my eyes on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I am a, a slow um, decision maker, probably. Uh, but definitely, like, there is a lot of different pieces that communicate different types of emotions and uh, for example my husband he's attracted by completely different paintings that maybe better reflect him mm -hmm. as a person as a personality and so on and so forth so and it also depends what people want to have in their environment right for me this first piece was really a representation of myself my strength my power but maybe you want to have calmness in your life right maybe you want to bring peace to your environment so in your collection there are so many different pieces and i really believe there is something for everybody depending on what you're looking for right what do you need in your environment For me, I just needed to have something that was special, that was identifying me as, you know, as a strong uh, woman, uh, you know, starting my own ventures and so on. Mm. So that was the right piece of art for me, at least at the time. You know, in the future, maybe I will need different things. Maybe I will need more peace and calm or I will need more... Uh, I don't know, nature, energy, like, I don't know, but you need to figure out what you need, what does your environment need, um, and what represents you. And in different stages of your life, you probably also have different needs. It's evolving, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I find in your collection, there is a, a lot of different uh, stages, different... Uh, um, type of emotions that you can get through that art um, and uh, and yeah there's something for everybody you just need to sort of a little bit look inside what is it that you need and what is it that you want to have around you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. great amazing and um, yeah okay I get that so but let, let's say you would need to like point out a person like, like what kind of art collectors would be interested in my style in in your mind um i think you know from my experience at least in switzerland you know a lot of houses are rather plain um so for example you know we have a lot of white walls and I think your art is very colorful, very energetic, very like, you know, it's um, it, it, it can really feel a room. You can feel a room with just one piece of your art. Right. So I believe that for anybody that is living, let's say, in a more standard type of apartment or housing, uh, it, it can be the type of. A decoration if you want to say that really changes completely the way that your room looks like right so 
um, I don't know, for me, for example, I have a lot of IKEA things in my house and they are very scandy, very plain, very squared and neutral. So having uh, a piece from your collection lights that up immediately, right? And, and suddenly everything looks so more personal, so more uh, bright and so more, you know, powerful and, and special. So it can really change completely the look of the place where you live. Um, and I think, you know, you're, you're, um, you are a fantastic storyteller. And, uh, you know, by, by talking to you, people can also explore um, what could be a, a good piece of art for them and discover where the real passion is. I feel like many people don't really know what they like or they don't like because it's not about liking that's the thing many people try to find okay what is the visual beauty of mm -hmm. the painting right and i don't think it's about the visual beauty as much as it is about what emotions it triggers in you mm. yeah. and uh, so yeah i think uh, you are a great uh, advocate for that and i think you know by talking to you people can really make a better decision for for themselves and what they want to have surrounding them um so yeah mm, love that thank you thank you amber that's amazing <laughs> yeah so you know even if you're not an art expert uh just you know i think by working with you like you can get a great introduction to art and really understand the depth of it and and yeah make just the right decisions for you mm, cool yeah i mean exactly that's what many people think they they need to understand art but it's not really about understanding art or the topic of it especially abstract art it's so various and so different for everybody so it's yeah. more about what you said like um yeah, finding these triggers, like finding what what the person needs. Uh, and and they, I think that's also then the connection, you know, knowing what the person needs, knowing, you know, what, yeah, what they do, what they want to remember or what they want to celebrate, like a milestone or whatever it is. So I think this is what you need to focus on. And, and, and I think then also you get a connection to the right yeah. piece or it's easier to find the right piece then. Yeah, and I think every time that you look at a piece of art, the key is like, don't ask yourself, oh, do I like it or do I not like it? But ask yourself, how does it make you feel? Because I think that is way more important. The like, not like in abstract art is, mm, there's no right or wrong, right? Yeah, <laughs> so exactly. mm -hmm. it, it's not the right question. Like you need to ask yourself the right question. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, and bro, now you basically gave already some amazing tips for like people that maybe want to invest in a piece of art. And mm -hmm. so if somebody is on the fence and is really thinking about investing in an art piece and maybe it's their first art piece they ever invested in or it's a present for somebody, whatever the reason is, why do you think they need they should act now? Uh, well, you know, like I, uh, for me, it's just like, when you know it, you know it, you feel it's the right piece for you. Just go with it. What I did was going back and forth. I think you remember Oliver, right? I was like, I saw it once. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then I saw it again and I was like, oh, I have to still think about it. And I, I went on this back and forth and in the end, I just knew it. So just uh, trusting your intuition when it comes to, you know, picking art is also very important uh, because I just intuitively knew from the beginning that emotions what was what I needed, and, needed and, and what I wanted, right? So just trusting the intuition, trusting that if it makes you feel in a certain way, it is a real thing, you know? Mm. So that would be my small piece of advice <laughs> mm -hmm. cool that's great 
Um, so you basically answered then the, the, the question, but usually I ask like, what's your number, why, number one advice for uh, future and current or collectors? So, and yeah, if you summarize, what, what's your number one advice for, for our collectors? Yeah, so ask yourself the right question. How do you feel about it? And just know that that is probably the way that you're going to feel about it. Also, when it comes home and you have it in front of you all the time. So if you're looking for peace in your life and you find a piece of art that makes you feel peace, then just bring it home with you because, you know, you can... Uh, it's a way to almost um, capture that emotion and and um, and have it with you all the time. Mm. So trust trust your guts, trust your gut feeling, trust your intuition, and and yeah, just just go with it. It's beautiful to be surrounded by beauty. So mm. Mm. I love that. Great, great, great. Thank you, Emperor. So. It was an amazing interview, loved it, it was lots of fun and um, if people now want to reach out to you and get to know more about you or like talk, talk with you about this or whatever they want to talk about, <laughs> where can yeah. they find out more about you? Uh, yeah, so I guess uh, social media, <laughs> Facebook, LinkedIn, you can reach out to me anytime and uh, yeah, I, I mean, I. I would be actually very interested in knowing other stories as well of people that maybe, you know, have decided to enrich their lives with art too uh, and just see like what it brought in their life as well. I mean, that would be very, very interesting hmm. to see. Cool. And your name is Embra Curetti? Curetti, yes, yes. It's like Italian. <laughs> exactly, very tough. So the Italian <laughs> people, they will know how to write it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, otherwise, I also will mark you on the, I will uh, yeah, mark you on the interview on Facebook. So people can yeah. just like immediately go to your Facebook profile and reach out to you. Sounds great. Cool. Perfect. Yeah, that's, that's it from my side. Do you have any last words you want to say or yeah? Anything no, I want to thank you, Oliver, for all your work. And um, I, I really believe your art comes from a deep place. And that is why it allows me to connect to it. So please keep doing what you're doing. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see more of your amazing works in the future. Thank you so much, Embra. It was really a pleasure. It uh, was so much fun talking to you and to get more get to know more about you and why you invested in it so it was super super interesting and um, yeah it was a great 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 talk thank you so much Embra thank, thank you. you thank you everyone thank you. who is watching that was uh, hopefully that was fun for you as well and yes yeah, see you next time thank you so much for watching and bye bye guys bye Embra bye